The following Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Who is the the following is a speech given by Ricky Stein, 14 years old, in his world history class at Kentsville Junior High School. Ricky is the son of Marilyn and Dr. William S. Stein of Virginia Beach. I believe in the sun even when it is not shining. I believe in love when feelings is not. I believe in God even when he is silent. These words were found written on a cellar wall in Germany where a few Jewish people tried to hide from the Nazis during the period of the Holocaust. I was 10 years old when my parents took my sister, brother, and me to Israel. It was in Jerusalem, Israel, that we went to a museum. I will never forget. The museum is called Yad Vashem, and this means, in translation from Hebrew, the hand of God. Just this name alone is enough to give a person a strange feeling. I do not know why or where this name came from, but I want but what I do know is that I was 10 years old when I went into the museum and I came out feeling much older. I really cannot explain to you the effect and the change this museum had upon me. It is too difficult for me to even think about it now. Yad Vashem is a museum that in all practicality is a memorial to those six million Jews who died in the Holocaust. But it is more than only that. It is a place where a human being today who sees all that is collected in the museum of what happened cannot help but to walk away with disturbing thoughts. Why in the civilized world of today did a highly intelligent society revert to insane madness? What is a human being that can turn him into such a demon? Why did this all happen? How could it happen? It was very difficult for me to see all the pictures in the museum, to read all the different excerpts without having to question. Where was the hand of God at this time? I am not going to describe to you all the horrors I saw in the museum, but I want to tell you about just one photo. It was a photo with about eight people, and one of the people was an SS officer was the only survivor from this photo of people. He gave an account that was written underneath the photo to explain the scene. This SS officer said there is a family, a father, a mother, and about 50 year old, and with them are children. The ages of the, of the children are about one year old, eight years old, ten, 10 years old. And this was my age, 10 years old. As I stood looking at this photo and reading the SS officer's descriptive words, there was also two growing up daughters, ages about 20 and 24, maybe one both were even the mothers of one or two of these young children. I do not know, but this was a family. The old woman had snow white hair and she held the one year old child in her arms and very close to her chest. The words under the photo said that she was tickling the baby and singing to him and that this baby was laughing just like any baby would laugh. With comforting pleasure, the father held the hand of the 10-year-old boy just as my father was holding onto my own hand in the museum that day. The father was pointing towards heaven and as he did, this was also stroking the child's head the words under the photo said that it appeared as if this father was saying something to the child about heaven. <coughs> recording this. At that moment, the eighth, eighth person in the photo, the SS officer, says he instructed the family to move quickly towards the trench where another SS officer is comfortably sitting smoking a cigarette with his legs freely dangling over into the very narrow trench on his knees rested a submachine gun. The trench was already two-thirds filled with hundreds of maybe thousands of lifeless bodies, although from some of these bodies there was also as little movement to be seen. No one bothered to count how many were there already in the trench or how many were in the line to enter this trench. A Jewish life was just too insignificant. The family walked into the trench, the boy baby still being made to giggle by the mother and the 10-year-old boy still holding tightly into his father's 
hand while his father kept stroking his child's head and pointing towards heaven. The submachine gun was sounded, and there was still space for more families to come to fill the trench. I was 10 years old and I hold, held my father's hand tightly as we both looked at the photo and we cried together. I could not go through the entire museum. I walked out on the grounds of this museum. There is a long walk where one enters. On each side of this walk, there are many trees planted. Each tree is dedicated to a righteous Gentile who helped to save Jewish lives during the, this time of horror. Until this day, it is very difficult for me to understand where the hand of God was at this horrible time. But it comforts me to know that even though in some particular parts of society there were people who were filled with madness, there was still much righteousness that existed and that there were many Gentiles who didn't jeopardize the sin and sacrifice their own lives to save Jewish people. Maybe, maybe this was Yad Vashem, the hand of God. That's very good. Very well. That's very good. No, that's What'd you get on it? Dad, well, how do I stop this? That wasn't a great paper. Dad, how do I stop this? I'll see how he did.